The Republican primary wasn't the only thing on the ballot in one local town yesterday. In Weathersfield, voters also weighed in on a pricey plan to upgrade the local high school. News 8's Kim Pierce has the latest. Weathersfield High School was built almost 60 years ago, and that means for years now they've desperately needed to either replace or renovate it. Thanks to a vote held yesterday, they now have the money to renovate it. When they built Weathersfield High in 1953, there was nothing wrong with it, but in the year 2012, that 1953 plumbing, wiring, and other infrastructure just won't cut it. The building was so deficient in so many areas, the school was actually in danger of losing accreditation. We don't have the space, we don't have the technology infrastructure, and so therefore, really what we're doing is we're compensating in terms of that piece of education for the students. The most cost-effective way of fixing the problem was not to build a new school, but renovate the current one to like new status. But even that would still cost $75 million. Yesterday, voters had to decide whether to spend the money or not. That's when News 8 caught up with the leader of the group Say Yes to WHS. A bad building with a great program, and we have to fix what's broken in Weathersfield and move forward and get this passed today. And they did by an almost two to one margin. Officials pointed out that everybody's property values would actually go up with a better high school in town. The plans call for adding on a new media center, music area, and gym to the existing building. That part will be done first, then every part of the building will be improved, and kids will have to go to class for three years with the construction and renovation going on around them. There's lots of staging, lots of planning, lots of preparation, uh, but we're really excited about the, the opportunity and really appreciative of the support of, of the community. Those renovations will start summer of next year and go through August of 2016. On the scene in Weathersfield, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.